Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In recent years, the United States has been taking various measures against Chinese companies, among which the Chinese high-tech company Huawei was the first to be hit. In 2019, the United States put pressure on companies such as Google in European countries to ban Huawei from producing 5G mobile phones. However, on September 15 this year, the U.S. Department of Commerce once again issued a ban on Huawei. High-end equipment and raw materials such as EUV lithography machines and our photoresists are listed as restricted exports and all companies that supply Huawei need to pass the approval of the United States. In doing so, the United States intends to cut off Huawei's industrial chain so that Huawei does not have enough resources and cannot extricate itself. Moreover, for a long time, the sanctions imposed by the United States have indeed slowed down Huawei's development speed. However, as long as you think about it a little bit, you can draw a conclusion that the intention of the United States is not only to target Huawei, but also to target the Chinese semiconductor industry. This trick is to solve the lack of accuracy of domestic chips. A chip is like the heart of an electronic product. Without a good chip, Huawei and even China's high-tech industry will suffer heavy losses. In fact, Huawei itself has the strength to develop chips, but due to the lack of core equipment needed to manufacture high-precision chips in China, lithography machines, it cannot mass-produce them. You know, in the entire chip industry, lithography machines are the most high-end, and most sophisticated instruments. Expressed in specialized terms, the precision of this lithography machine is called process. The smaller the process, the higher the technology, the higher the technical level, the higher the technical level. The most powerful lithography manufacturer in the world is ASML in the Netherlands, which has the capability of 5 nanometers process, and ASML has received technical support from the United States, Germany and other countries. You must know that the highest level of lithography technology in China is only 22 nanometers. It is the gap of tens of nanometers in this area, which is like a natural moat lying in front of China's national chip industry. Chinese companies like Huawei have been repeatedly constrained due to their inadequacy in key technologies. The manufacture of lithography machines is very complicated, involving many parts and requiring high precision. This is a huge industrial chain, and each link involved has its own division of labor. It is impossible to have only one company. However, the company's founder, Ren Zhengfei, said long ago that Huawei is not afraid of supply disruptions. He said this not to hit Huaxia. He has realized that Huaxia has a leading edge in the chip field, and Huawei is ready to deal with it. The first is to continue to increase the research and development of domestic high-end lithography equipment. Bai Chunli, Director General of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, once said that the Chinese Academy of Sciences should focus on high-tech fields monopolized by foreign countries, such as wafers and lithography. In the eyes of the United States and some other Western powers, if ASML is not sold to China, China's chips will never be produced. But now the domestic 28 nanometers process technology can already be mass produced stably. Although it is still far from the 5 nanometers process technology, it can at least meet the needs of all domestic electronic products except smartphones.
It is not easy to succeed, but China will not admit defeat easily. Under such circumstances, China's chip industry will continue to develop its own industrial chain. The first domestic SME lithography machine has been mass-produced in the factory. Although this machine is limited to use after mass production of chips, once it is mass-produced, its cost will far exceed that of imports. In the past, foreigners thought that it was impossible for China to produce a lithography machine. Now it seems that the Chinese also have this ability. As long as China continues to work hard, this distance will be shortened. Secondly, his quantum chip was developed by himself. In 2023, good news came from Hefei. China's first quantum chip production line was officially put into operation, which triggered a wave of domestic semiconductor industry boom on the same day. This brand new quantum chip will add a heart to Wukong, China's first quantum computer. The Wukong, with a pair of sharp eyes, will occupy a larger market share in the fields of biomedicine, artificial intelligence, and material science. This is undoubtedly a great encouragement for the domestic semiconductor industry. The transistors mentioned above are all silicon based transistors, and in the future, quantum transistors may replace silicon transistors. The production of Chinese chips is not only an industry, but should not be produced in one way. With the United States constantly tightening the blockade, China must take a multi-pronged approach. The hit movie, The Wandering Earth 2, once predicted that by 2040, quantum computers will develop into an industry that allows people to feel its value more intuitively. In fact, by 2025, a quantum computer will be put on the market. The development of the Chinese country in this area has lagged far behind one of the top countries in the world. Maybe it can take the lead in changing lanes and overtaking, so wouldn't the Chinese core also be solved? Third, the development of secondary optical chips. At present, China is committed to developing a brand new optical device, and it is expected to become the entry point for leapfrog development. After so many years, the traditional silicon process has reached a bottleneck, and even the 3 nanometers process cannot be promoted to the market. Even the smaller it is, the harder it is to improve and the more development time it takes. Continuing advances in electronics will require finding new types of chips that break the limits of silicon chips. The optical wafer is a new technology that can replace silicon wafers to a certain extent and further improve the process level. Currently, there are already developments in this area in Beijing and Shanghai. Huawei itself is also recruiting excellent employees and carrying out its own research and development in its own chip industry. In addition to the lithography machines mentioned above, Huawei has already invested in optical chips in 2019. At present, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made great progress in the preparation of 3 nanometers optical chips. The most critical point is that an optical chip can be produced with a domestic general-purpose lithography machine without any foreign equipment at all. It is not an easy task to mass-produce optical chips. In order to break the monopoly of foreign countries on China, China will start from three aspects, silicon-based chips, quantum chips and optical chips and strive to achieve the goal of Chinese core. Perhaps in the near future, it will not only be Chinese companies that really need to worry, but companies outside China.